Did you hear that? What'd you hear? A voice. A woman, though. It was a woman's voice. Can you turn it off if there's life after death? Please do your best to shut that off. Thank oh. you. Do you want us to go deep? Oh what? Ah. What? Man, someone is behind me right now. Like, I don't know if that was an orb. I don't know what that was, but I just saw something quickly flash. <gasps> Dude! <laughs> <laughs> Special guest in the house. Hello. What up? Hey, what up? <laughs> so we're on route to the poor farm. We got chills back there. How you feeling? Good, good. Ready to rock and roll. Yeah. So we're returning back to the poor farm, uh, which is where we went, what, like four months ago now? Yeah, that's pretty pretty long ago. Time yeah. flies, time flies. <laughs> but yeah, we're turning back to the poor farm with Jeff this time to see what what happens. Last time we got some good stuff, so we're not camping there this time, um, thankfully. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff's ready to camp there, though. <laughs> well, I'm ready for everything. Yeah. <laughs> you know me. But I, I, I was kind of intrigued by that place. When you went there the first time, I was really intrigued by that place. Like, seeing so many white crosses with no names on them, it is, it is weird. Yeah. It's, it's kind of sad, dude. It, it is sad. It's like, it, it's, we bury you, but we don't want to remember you. Yeah, exactly. And it, it's sad. Back then, those poor farms, those poor people were, uh, most of them were abandoned by their families. Chels read that some of them were sold. I yeah, you said they were sold, right? Yeah, they, if they were able to work, they'd be like auctioned off by the municipality, apparently. Oh. Like cattle. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, dude. It's like treating human beings like cattle. Uh, it, you, it, you're owned by the the government, so we can do anything we want with you. Even sell you to the most offering person. All right, so I got my boombox. I'm ready to go. And, uh, <laughs> we're going to be listening to music this investigation. No, I'm just kidding. We got a candle here. Um, we have mad bug spray because the bugs are eating us alive, so we're coming prepared today. All right, guys, so our adventure starts right now, and I think our motive today is to try and talk to the people that we were talking to last time. So I don't know, Jeff, if you knew about this, but we were getting very accurate stuff in regards to Spirit Talker. Oh, okay. So Spirit Talker was like the house or like fire or mm -hmm. even like just I'm here or something like that. So... If we can try and see what it's like or see what their experiences were like, you know, during their time, it's very unnecessary. But uh, yeah, that's our motive. So we're about to lock up here and uh, oh. got everything. <laughs> you might want your camera. Yeah, this uh, one. Jeff looks like he's bringing his whole life with him. <laughs> so the adventure begins. We have officially entered the threshold right now. Um, let's hope the bugs don't eat the sh out of us because it's horrible <laughs> it's not bad i'm actually feeling really excited i have an offering for the spirits here but i honestly i think i think the offering is going to help with everything so you can just see the bugs in the camera you're getting my head already yeah me too <laughs> christ man i'm fine yeah you're fine i don't think they like me <laughs> oh, i think man. they want the filipino blood <laughs> that warm blood yeah this is pretty spontaneous like we wanted to do this for a while now and now jeff wants to do it and he brought it up like let's just go let's just have a good time and see what we get so it's gonna be an adventure video we gotta go for another 10 minutes on this path even though we're not camping i definitely feel like we are camping <laughs> <laughs> we have so much stuff yeah we got just cam we got two tripods two cans and the like <laughs> 
winning already here. Me too. <laughs> Everyone's okay so far? Ah. What, 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 what is that? That big June oh, bug. June bug. Holy oh. crap, that's the size of my fist. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we got mutated June bugs out here. Let's just get to the site. Yeah. Um, we gotta go this way, which can be a disaster. Um, everyone good? Yep, yep. All right. Let's good. just keep trekking along. So this is the costly farm trail. And it's, from what I remember, the cemetery is just in here. So here we gotta keep a sharp eye and ear out for any audibles and apparitions because they like to they like Especially to come out. in the forest lines. Yeah. And this trail was always sketch. I feel like a guy or someone's gonna pop out and pop just out, attack yeah. you. And now that it's the summertime, you got all the trees overgrown and it's a lot more bushy. But where we're going tonight is a very scary space. This place is just feels like a like you're in a realm almost. Uh, um, I think so. Is this one? I don't know. It looks different now that it's all grown. All grown. Um, I think it is though. I don't know. It is? Yeah. Damn, it's a jungle in here. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, I think this was the path. That's yeah, somewhere in here. So keep your ears and eyes open, guys. Anything could happen in this area. I'm not joking. It's totally different in the summertime. Yeah. Oh my God. Here we go. It's already pretty heavy. You okay though? Yeah, yeah, it's just like the pressure on my chest just, it heightened. Yeah. All right. We're ready. Oh. Oh. Thank you. Who's here with us right now? You have boxes on the cross. You can say your name in it. All right, so Chelsea has an offering that she wants to. I have like a little mini altar set up right here for everyone, or for me. So I've got us some Florida water once again. Um, I have a concoction of stuff, which I am not going to say out loud because it's actually from a local pagan witch. And it's a combination that she asked me not to share with people. So, but it is a great offering for spirits. And then I have my pendulum. Pendulum, yeah. Don't move. So you got your pendulum And we had freeze right before. That's me. Yeah. So I have my pendulum in here, and this is an offering. Here, here. Don't break out the souvenir. That is the lighter that I had when I was in mission in Bosnia. That Zippo is around 30 years. Okay, so the reason why I'm burning it is just to kind of give it back to nature instead of sometimes you can dump it on the ground, like giving it back that way. Um, but I want to burn this one to help it go fully back into nature and the smoke will help as well. So usually I would use matches, but I don't have any with me. That's happening. It's kind of tricky to light. It's grandma. It's not me. What? That was weird. That was really that weird. That was like con contradictory. Yeah. <laughs> it's grandma, but it's not grandma. Yeah, then, <laughs> well, then who is it? Oh, it's slowly burning, eh? There we go. Smell the aroma, bro. <laughs> no, but I'm smudging myself in that. Yep, I will need that. So, spirits and lost souls of this this land, this is just an offering for you, since you've opened up. Did you hear that? What? Did no one hear that little voice? This offering is just for you guys to say thank you for allowing us on your land and being here this evening. If you wish to communicate with us, that'd be great. This is why we normally bring matches, because then you just put the match in there. Yeah. That's my bad. Oh yeah, slowly. Yeah, as long as there's smoke, that's Heal. perfect. Pagan. <gasps> what? My God. 
Yes, I'm pagan, and the mixture that I have is an offering from another pagan local witch. That's crazy. And it's actually like an indigenous mixture, which is why I can't give out um, what's in it. And it's probably my uh, indigenous side that... Mm -hmm. mm, it smells beautiful. Still not burning? We're getting there, but I just needed to burn it just a little more. So we're still trying to light this concoction up but nothing is lighting anything it's crazy nothing is lighting nothing like i have a flame mm. and when i take it out it goes and there's a yeah. reason for that samuel yeah and we wanted to get this right so okay. we're looking to burn more on. Oh, oh the flashlight turned on yeah. but there i think there's a reason why nothing's really lighting we're staying lit yeah. other than this candle why well, what happened here Oh, fire. yeah. So what we're trying to do is light this, but it's not going to cause a fire. It's not going to cause anything like that. It it's, won't harm you. It's just going to bring a nice smell to you guys and be peaceful. That's all, friends. There you go. It's all burning up now. We are offering this to you tonight as a thank you for allowing us to be here and as a thank you for being you and just kind of it's the right thing to do to offer this for you. So if you want to communicate with us tonight, please, that's what we're here for. We're not here to cause any harm. So enjoy this and we'll enjoy your company tonight. If I go over here, can you tell us your name? Who we're talking to right now? <gasps> what the? Come on. Wow. Do you know Jeff was in the army? So you know I was in the army. You saw my ring on my tattoo. That's crazy. Wow. It's not the first time that we have our new tattoo. Flashlight just turned on behind you. Did it? Yeah. Oh my God. It did turn on. And I think, can you turn it off just to show us that you're here with us? Please? Do you want to count? Shut it off. One, two, three. No? Come on, all the way. Look at the ground right here. It almost looks like there's people buried right there. Yeah, there and uh, probably elsewhere. Are we talking to somebody from the poor farm? If so, turn that flashlight on or talk through our devices. They're harmless, okay? 1990s. Whoa. 1990s. Hey, dude, Army, I will talk to you. 1990s. You were in the f***ing Army in the 90s, bro. Um, this camera isn't turning on anymore. Huh? What? Is that the new one or? It's completely dead. You are literally just using it, though. That's not my new camera. It's just it's the, the battery's dead. Scarlet, huh. scarlet fever. Oh, yeah. did you did you pass of scarlet fever? I know a lot of people passed here. That's really weird. That is really weird. We were just filming on it, and the battery was full. Yeah. And she just died. English. English. Introduce yourself. Oh, you are. I introduced myself. It's you two that didn't introduce yourselves yet. All right, so I'm Chelsea. We are here in the winter time. We've actually been here three times now. And I'm Julio. <laughs> here we go again. Here we go again. There you go. You've probably seen us before. Hear uh, the footsteps. Oh. Yeah, please. Burial. Burial. I heard footsteps back there. You heard the footsteps? Yep. Can you tell us how many people are buried here? How many souls still reside here? Please? Is it raining? I just felt like a, a water drop on me. I don't know. It was right here. 
Can you walk for us again, please? I heard the ground freaking stumping. I was seventy. Whoa. Whoa. How about this? However you wish to communicate, make the device go off or chat with me, whatever you want to do. Go oh. <gasps> Whoa. Whoa. God. Is there a, are you with God right now? Does God exist? Please, that would be much appreciated. We want to know, we want to, to tell the world that there's life after death. That we're, flashlight just turned on, just by saying that. Can wow. you turn it off if there's life after death? Children are playing. Oh, I think we got that last time. Please do your best to shut that off. Thank oh. you. Dude. <laughs> Holy crap, man. Whoa. Okay, let's try this now. Can oh, a choice. You give yeah, them yeah, a choice. Yeah. I have another choice for you. Verify that and please turn it back on to confirm that there is a life after death. Just want to make sure it's not a fluke. That wasn't a choice. Yes, sir. <gasps> Dude. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Is it yes, sir? sir yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you so much. So, <laughs> dude, I use the flashlight. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Oh my God! Please turn that back on. Can you turn on the flashlight, please, just to confirm to us that you're here and you're ready to come in. Please. This isn't from me, by the way. Is that? It's someone saying, like, turn the flashlight on or, like, what's their other choice? Is there a life after death? Turn that flashlight on if so. Or leave it off if you don't want to talk to us right now about that question. Whoa. Can you touch that red light again, please? Touch the red light if there is a life after death. Or touch the red device if there's a life after death. The whole walk up here, I kept getting messages from a man named Albert. Lights? And yes, we have Albert lights. Albert was here with his sister and they both passed. And, and I don't think that their bodies were ever claimed by loved ones. I, I get the feeling that they were abandoned here. Um, so Albert was 18 and his sister was 20. Very and he's been giving me messages this whole time. Flashlights on. And he stands over there. Albert, so I think Albert could be... Yeah, so Albert, from what I can tell, I think Albert has cerebral palsy because the way he's walking and the way his arm is positioned. Wait, he's shown himself to you? Yeah, fully. Yeah, he's like shown, like not I, not like a, what you and I look like, but I was able to see like his physical stance and his walk. So he has like a limp and he has, he holds his arm up like this, which is usually like someone with CP. So that's what I've been getting and he's kind of been the one. Allison. Oh, what the? He's been the one walking over here. Who's over there right now? You guys heard that too? Yeah. If you're walking in the forest, can you appear to us? Please come. That was crazy. We are really nice. We just want to talk to you. It's Albert. He's behind the trees. Albert, are you down there? We're not gonna hurt you. We just want to talk to you. You don't have to hide. He's very strong. He's very strong. Yeah. Like he's he's he is really able to communicate. Like he comes, his messages come through pretty clearly for me. I don't know if it's like somewhat of a connection because of what I did in my other field. Maybe he might know that you're like a safe person to. Maybe, yeah. Albert, if Chelsea and I come and take a walk down there, would you talk to us? Oh my God, what's that? That's over here. Oh, that's a, oh my God, ew. What? That's a gross oh, spider. Oh, look at this spider whip. Ah, 
He's moving. She's coming. <laughs> <laughs> the spider was coming down to get something. Look. Me. Oh, that's gross. <laughs> I know you don't mean any harm. I don't mean you any harm. And I'm sorry that you had a hardship here. It's not fair that your family abandoned you here. You and your sister, that must have been really scary to deal with at a young age. Albert, why did you bring us down here? We're not gonna stay down here too long because the bugs are very bad, but. Yeah. You came from a, a, a family of fishermen, Albert? Can you turn on the flashlight if you were? Your I say me and you take a hike there. down there and see if maybe I Albert can talk seat. to us one-on-one. -on -one. Um, just to kind of split off and get a different perspective here because he might actually, you know, want to talk to you or want to give us some more answers, so. Yeah. Albert, if you're over here, we just want to communicate with you. Really creepy, like actually really creepy. If you're able to make a noise for us again, walk or yell or talk. Sometimes if you're able to talk, we're able to hear it through the cameras. Lady. Albert, you want to talk to the lady, I assume, right? Um, yeah, like sometimes if you talk out loud, Albert, the cameras, which are, which are in my hand, sometimes can pick up your voice because not everyone is able to hear you the way that I can. Did you hear that? I think so. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, sh What? There's just a shadow figure, like no lie. Albert, are you walking over here? Charles, I actually just saw a shadow figure. It's kind of like he's timid of something. Is what I, I like pick up and sense. Like. He's not fully showing himself. He's kind of like jumping between trees, like kind of like moving, standing behind a tree, going to the next, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's kind of what I saw over here. He went like down there. Can you tell us, Albert, why you're bringing us down here? What this path used to be? Just. You heard it from Family. There was a man's voice. I heard that. Let's go this way. You heard the man's voice? Are you recording? <laughs> yes, we are recording, Albert. Albert, if you want to appear for us, that would be amazing. We can tell the world that you're still here on this earth. Where'd you go, Albert? Albert, I saw you, or I saw someone down here. Charles, I'm not joking when I say that. I actually saw a silly bike go in here. Oh, I believe probably you. Probably around the same area we're in right now. It's not just Albert here either, right? Like there are a lot of lost souls here. Even if the, like, the people who are here weren't buried here, they're still able to come back here. We're not only here to speak to Albert, we're here to speak to anyone who wants to communicate with us. If you wish to give us a sign you're here, please, we're, we're all ears. We Charlotte. Charlotte again. again. Charlotte, are you Albert's sister? Albert was telling me about his older sister. Is that you? Oh my god, it's like so dense back here. I wonder back in the 1800s when the poor farm first came up. Are you recording? Again? Yes. Yeah, we're still recording. I wonder what this land was used for. Like what, if there were houses in this part or what was going on down here. I don't know, but it's a jungle in here. Ow. What? The hell happened there? What? Um, something grazed my arm and that was not one of these. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm 100% sure. Whoa. <laughs> Did someone just graze Lamar's arm? 
Albert, it's okay. <gasps> Do you hear that? Yeah. Yo, I have this really you weird. You have nightmares. Wow. I have a really weird feeling right now that someone's standing like inches from my back. Inches, like he's trailing behind me. It's like no weird. personal space. No personal space. He's like just behind me. I swear, I just saw like a face in there. Oh. I worked here. You worked here. What was your job? So people here would have jobs like, you know, gathering stuff, working in workshops, fixing things. Probably and farming, right? Farming. Ronald. Hi, Ronald. Do you work here? Do you want us to go deep? Oh my God, chill, chill, chill. chill. What? Ah. What? Man. What? Like someone is behind me right now. Like kind of like teasing you? No, no, no. Like so, someone is standing right behind me. It's it's it, like that feeling of someone being right behind your back, like up close. Like yeah, be yeah. Right here I'd be right here, just like no personal space, no nothing. And it almost felt like someone put pressure on my back to just. So remember. Oh. movement over there. Yeah, there's like a path here. Well, where are we? This is some like swamp ass path. I know. I know. I don't like it with no light. It's weird, eh? That's really creepy. It feels like I don't know. I don't like it. <laughs> Are you able to talk to us right now? That is really creepy, eh? Mm-hmm. Like, I can't even see my feet. Um, did you hear that? Is that you down there? Object. Object. Did I just hear someone talk? Can you appear to us? Right there, Charles. It's like a moan or something. I heard that. What? Did you see someone? Thought I did, but I don't know. I haven't been getting as much from Albert. It's kind of like he's not with us. What? 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 I just saw something flash over there. Actually? Yeah. Someone over there? Like, I don't know if that was an orb, I don't know what that was, but I just saw something quickly flash. That was weird. That was honestly really weird. I've never seen something like that before. I'm like tripping out now. I don't blame you. I say we start making our way back a little. Okay. Heart. 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 All right, well, let's go see how Jeff's doing then. Guess what word I had. What? War. War. Really? Yeah. Wow. Adult! Adult! Outdoors. <laughs> Mortary. She died. War. And I asked if that you had somebody that passed away in a war and the flashlight turned off. Okay. And when I was trying it. Believe us. I had, I, I thought somebody was pulling it. Like pulling the pendulum? Seriously? Yeah. Oh wow. It, it was like going towards yes, but not swinging, going. Wow. 
Did you want to use? My time. Yeah, I can see oh, that. In the red bucket. Fudge. Do you want to use the mat? Look, it's pulling. It's pulling on the tent, the pendulum. It is. It's just going to maybe. It's not even passing the the middle. It actually almost looks like it's saying go again or try again. No, oh. I think it go. It's going wow, it's for the maybe. Pod. Yeah, let's do it wow. a different way as well. Let's just see because it's kind of so that way means yes. So when it turns like this, it means yes. Can you show me no? See how it's turning in the other way? Thank you. Do you want to communicate using the mat? Yes. Okay. Christopher, patience. Do you remember the fire of 1929? Yes. I'm trying, like my whole brain just blanked out. Yeah. Fully. Are we, are we welcomed here tonight? <sighs> Belittling. Dude, it's, it's literally pulling it right now. Yeah, it's saying yes. Is the shadow person I saw that went into the forest Albert? Is her name Albert? Yes or no? It's pulling towards yes. Yeah, that's a definite Forward. Yes. <laughs> hey, look at the, the bites. Oh, wow. It's already a bunch of bites. Yeah. Albert, did you die on this land? That's my to go to sleep. Yes. Are we near your body of where you're buried? No. Are you buried near the near the road where the other white crosses are? No. Are you buried near the water? Looks like my hand is not. Are you buried near the water? Him. Him? Yes. I wonder if that's why he brought us near the water. Are you lonely here? Are you scared? Yes. Are you happy that we're here with you to talk? Yes. Is there a spirit here that don't want us here? Oh, it's a strong yes. Oh my God, okay. Albert, are you scared of that spirit? Oh my God. I'm gonna ask him a question. That's crazy. Can you uh, stop? Yeah. Albert, is that the other spirit that told us, that told me that he doesn't want to communicate, that he want us to go away? Because when you were in the woods, I was communicating with somebody. Mm -hmm. And when Dangerous. I was asking if they, <laughs> mm -hmm. if they wanted to communicate, I had no. I didn't know, know why. And Albert saying yes, but I was probably communicating with that other one. Yeah. And then the spirit talker just said dangerous. Yep. Hear us. Hear us. Hear us, yes. I, I think we've been hearing you. You're, you're walking around, aren't you? Well, listen out. Do you hear that? Right there. Oh, Jeff, do you hear that? Yeah. 
Are you over here? There now. The spirit that doesn't want us here, is he an older man who wears a hat? Flashlight. Oh. And when you ask that, the flashlight turned on. Recording. And we had the name Donald and recording. What is that going to? It's like circling right now. I think it's going towards it, yes. Or maybe. Yeah. It looks like try again. Okay, let me reword it. The spirit that told us that we're not welcome here, is he an older man? Yes. The spirit that don't want us here. Can you turn off the flashlight, please? Thank you. <laughs> oh my God, dude. Do you feel that? What do you feel? Everything around us just completely shifted. You understand me. Oh! Yes, boy. But in a dark way. Yeah. Like very dark. It's kind of like the light just went back and the dark just took over. And no, I don't want to play games. I have, I have that combat feeling that Margaret. we're being watched. Albert's gone. He literally was like, I need to go. Something or someone or something is watching us from the woods. I know, right? Yeah. I saw somebody in the woods. Oh! Yeah. I've been pointing my camera over there because I've been hearing noises from over there. You okay, hon? Yeah, it's just off. Is the dark spirit around? I would like to talk to him. I don't, know how, to, I don't know how to explain that. Those four souls. But like, Albert was very present, like very. And then all of a sudden, you know. like the energy shifted. Oh, oh, my God, dude. Did I upset you? Someone's touching that right now. Wow, like aggressively touching that. So I've upset you. Flashlight turned on. He's freaking out. Are you doing that because you know I'm not afraid of you? Well, I was like instantly. Go ahead, touch everything. Light them up. As if that's going off right now. Can you make it stop, please? Can you move away, please? Move away. Nana. Dude, I can't believe that right now. 1700s. Oh. 1700s. Okay, okay, that's good. Good. That was crazy, man. Have you noticed when I started to provoke him? Like to stand up to him? He didn't like that. No. You don't like being stand to, right? I'm happy you're feeling this because last time we were here, there was an energy. Okay. <laughs> yeah, see? See what I mean right now? Last time there was an energy that Edwardian. was so intimidating. 1700 Edwardian. I think in the Edwardian. Now that would be Georgian. Edwardian was 1900. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The fire happened in the 1900s. <gasps> 1929 Ed mm. Edwardian. Yeah. And the rampart hit at the same time. Why do you hang around here? If you don't want people here, what are you even doing here? Why are you tormenting those souls? Belittles them. He belittles them? He doesn't treat them like humans. Um, who is walking Miss back carriage. there? Miscarriage. 
some sort of walking down there too. There was a lot of miscarriages here. There's also a lot of births here. Like something's like upset, angry. It's like ominous almost. Very. This is weird because I know, we both actually know somebody is over there. But it's like, I don't want to feel like I'm just chasing after them, you know? They don't, yeah. And that's the thing is, you're not actually chasing them. Me? Just so you know. What puzzles me is that- They're chasing us? Kind of. Not like, I don't know how to explain it. It's so like, there's a lot of really good souls here and a lot of souls that are really willing to be out and be around us. It's in that corner. But there's also a really deep darkness here that is kind of like hovering- You're respectful. Hovering don't over- Don't be fearful. You're respectful and don't be fearful. That are like kind of hovering over those light souls and not wanting them to be, be out. Oh my God. Is that? My light. Did they all die? Look, look Jeff. It's flickering. It's flickering right now. I threw something. <gasps> what did you throw? Oh my the god. Light. Oh my god. Can you throw the light? Yeah. Just push it on the ground, please. Can you make one of the cat balls go off? It's literally flickering right now. Still? Yeah. You have two cat balls. You have one right there, and you have one right here. Can you push them down, please? All you have to do is touch them. Just push on them. Oh! Holy crap, bro! I can't protect you. Oh. That's what the, what, what was that? Something just tapped on that. What was that? Something just hit this. The light? Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's probably a bug. No, 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 it's weird. It sound like that. <gasps> okay, okay. That was weird. Oh my gosh. Pro <gasps> what? Did you hear that? What'd you hear? A voice. A woman, though. It was a woman's voice. Yeah, me too. Wait, you heard that too? Yeah. I thought it was the spirit talker, but no. Um, okay. So what do we know so far? That there's a guy named Albert, and someone's in the forest there. But we're not really getting closure here. Stay in near the, the candle. You'll yeah. be good. Get away from me, big tomb bug. <laughs> that thing's scary. Oh, yeah, there. Oh, yeah, it was. That thing's massive, dude. dude right there. Just, just kill it. Yeah, oh. look into that crunch. Okay. There you go. Bye, Joombug. I guess sorry, you're but gone. Something to do with this cross. Because even last time we've been here, it a lot of our activity happened near this Flashlight specific on. cross. Yeah. And that's why I've set up here, because I was drawn mm -hmm. to, to that cross particularly. Can you tell us what the significance is with this very specific cross? Worry. Worry. Christ, man. Oh, I'm sweating. Jeff's over here sweating right now. <laughs> I feel like that was a decent night. To, yeah. That was know. an awesome night, man. That was special. Yeah. Because we had a dark entity present and we had Albert. It's like someone was trying to lead us to something. Mm -hmm. But and, someone was also trying to prevent that from happening. And that when I sense. started, like, standing up to that entity, didn't like that. No. The ramp bar went off, the flashlight turned on at the same time. That was magical. This spot, every single time we come, something happens. So let us know down in the comments if you guys want to come back. Right now we're obviously packing up to go home, but, you know. And to get chicken nuggets. And to get chicken nuggets right And now. a cold shower. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to say, I want to thank all of you guys for all your love and support on our After Death series. We put our heart and soul into that, you know, editing wise. And you know, it's it's so awesome to see all of you guys supporting and being so loving and actually enjoying the content. So thank you guys a million times for that. So yeah, now I feel like we can do some 
you know, spontaneous and fun stuff now, now that we don't have to... Like we did right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. So like, I don't know if you guys know this, but our After Death series, we were out filming and pretty much spending our afternoons formatting the videos, trying to film them, you know what I mean? So we can produce proper content, right? So not to say that this isn't proper, but you guys know what I mean. I mean, all I got to say at this point is let us know if you want us to come back at a different time and yeah, let us know down in the comments below. Love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, go and follow this guy on YouTube there. Everything will be in the description below and see you guys in the next. Peace.